Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Nah, sorry, partner. All right. Well, you check back with us in a few days if you're in the market for any lumber. Very good. We can really use these. Hey! Well, I'd keep moving if I was you. <laughs> what did I tell you? Get the hell out hey, of here! calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, oh, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Ah, nah, not for me. Good luck, though. I knew this was a waste of time. Now get the hell out of here. You two ever think, oh, I don't know, Maybe distilling liquor in the middle of a bunch of trees ain't the best idea? Well, just get the hell out of here. Well, maybe I'll catch you two later. I have a knack for running into deluded fools. Go on. Just get out of get here moving. before I lose my temper. Damn. 
Perry, you might need to be put down for the health and safety of the rest of us. You goddamn son of a bitch! Ja, ja, always happy to help, huh? Okay there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. <laughs> Finally, some relief. Real good, boy. <laughs> Indeed. I need that man of action back. Sure. Thank you. Get out of here and do something. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. What's wrong with you, Mr. Morgan? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. It ain't nothing personal, you know? Sure seems that way to me. But, you know what? It probably is. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sound good. I'm getting too old for this. Living in tents. On the run. Here, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later. something could be good yeah i was talking to some of the colored folk the old boy i was talking to reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around it's taking a look at least isn't it that was my thinking
Stay there. Hey, partner. Hello, mister. Well, who the hell are you? Get on out of here! All right, simmer down. Hello, gentlemen. Mister? Arthur! You came! Yeah, I came. Fine lady. Arthur. Mary Beth. Hey, Arthur. Hang in there. We'll be back on track soon. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. I know it's been a bad run. How old are you now? 21, 22? You don't ask a lady that. <laughs> All right. Sorry, don't mind me. Find something for y'all to do. We always do. Three young, healthy women want you to take them arriving. You're worried about house chores. Like a gentleman. Sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. I've really, really missed you. You know, 